Okay, let's have a look at links. Links are scary for some people, but they shouldn't be. Now, here's an example for instance. Let's let's take this and we'll take a little bit of text. Just this bit of text here, which is refusing to uh, it's refusing to select, so what I'll do instead is I'll type something. We'll just get a we'll do a text thing here. So we click on text and we find uh, two of them have turned up. I always think that's a bit of a fault with this because uh, they sort of turn up in the middle of nowhere and you can't easily see them. There's somewhere there's two here. Oh, I don't, that'll do. We'll use this one anyway. Uh, oh, both of them are inside each other. So that's no good. Okay, get rid of the inside one. Here we are. Uh, this is a link. Okay, now what we're going to do is to take this link and we're going to uh, highlight it by dragging the mouse over it with the um, left click. And we're going to say enable as a hyperlink. And immediately it gives you a number of things. It can be one of my pages, an external link, a file, or an email message. Now, we're just going to do the um, one of my pages one first. It now gives you, because this is one of the great things about it, a whole bunch of your, or gives you all your pages. So let's say I want to go back to my first page from this link. It says make all, hyper, uh, all hyperlinks inactive, and that's at the moment what it's saying is do that because, I'll just drag this text block up, up, up a bit, um, I want this one, I want them all to be um, uh, uh, inactive because I don't want to keep clicking on them and being thrown away. So while I'm doing this, I'm uh, moving it to where I want it. Once I've got it and I want to test it, I can take that off and I can click it and blow me if it doesn't take me to my first page. So go back to the blank page I was playing with. Make sure I click this back on. I say, yeah, that's cool. No worries, that link works. I can even make Matthew a link. So if I make him a link to, um, let's see, uh, one of my pages again, and I choose About Me. OK, make this off try it out and you can see it's working because that funny little Mickey Mouse hand comes up wearing a glove and it tells you link to about me too it even tells you that that's the case you go up and hold the hand on it wait for a minute and that should tell me but it doesn't <laughs> okay not everything's perfect but it uh, it should do as I move it into that no I don't know why it doesn't do that anyway whatever um, so that's to about me, uh, the about me page. So that click, that click works. Okay, get that one back. Now, there's some really nice things too. For instance, we can we could make this a mail link. So we'll double click on it. One of the things you'll find is, for instance, in most of them, uh, once you've made something a link, it becomes underlined and you can't change it. I mean, you can change it, and there's discussions in the groups about how you change. <clears throat> the way it works, but it's a real pain to do. Uh, I reckon just get used to it. Um, I might put a link to the bit that talks about how you get around changing that, but it's a it's it's a very um, it's a very involved process to change it, and you you're just as likely to screw up your um, your iWeb. Um, uh, profiles, so uh, I would be inclined not to do it personally. It's a bit mysterious, the inner workings of iWeb. Anyway, let's make this one uh, a web a link. Oh, this is the other thing to, to look at, by the way, is when you click on the text box, you'll notice there's no hyperlink. So if you actually, m you can make the text box itself a hyperlink. You've got to be careful about this, whether you're making the text box or the text itself. So if I make the text box um, about me as well, then no matter where they click on it, uh, it'll it'll take them off. So um, there, link to about me. Finally, it's working. Um, but in fact, it goes off to the other site. So it just goes to show it's a bit confusing. So be careful always when you're making a a um, a link. Make sure that you've got the text itself highlighted. So we'll highlight that text again. 
that's the text that's highlighted. Now, make it instead of one of my pages, make it an email page. Now there's um, this is where you then put your email address in and the subject. The subject means that they, when they click on it, what will happen is their email program will open up. It'll be addressed to you at he, in this, and the um, email subject will be whatever you choose to put there. I mean, they can change it, but uh, it's quite nice to I have it sort of from my site, and that way I can look at every um, email that comes in. I know which ones have come from my site or any particular site. Okay, so that's quite a good one. Uh, finally, you can add a file as well if you want, in which case you, you say um, enable a file. You go and look for a particular file, click on that. It uploads the file and allows them to download it, so that's quite good. Uh, and, um, and of course the um, external page is exactly the same. You just put in um, what external page you want it to refer to. In fact, most of the time, if you've got a page open in Safari, the first page are, uh, turns up there, or the home page on Safari uh, um, turns up on it. It uh, just depends a little bit, a uh, little bit unsure of how that works. I am. So that's basically the way that it all goes. Uh, and I hope this has been useful to you. And uh, we'll, I'll come back with some more complex stuff on our web. For instance, how to um, put a stat counter on your page uh, using a another program which is uh, searches and replaces particular text. Uh, that's much more complex, but uh, worth watching and looking at. Catch you.